Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Tuesday, March the 14th, 2023. My name is Brian J. Monroe, and I'm pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This year, we're following John MacArthur's devotional book, Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. And today's entry is entitled, Looking Beyond the Temporal. We read from scripture, Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. This then is how you should pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our main thought for today is with God as your Father, your life has eternal significance. Pastor MacArthur writes, Author H.G. Wells wrote of a man who had become, been overcome by the pressure and stress of modern life. His doctor told him his only hope was to find fellowship with God. The man responded, what, that up there, having fellowship with me? I would as soon think of cooling my throat with the Milky Way or shaking hands with the stars. Poet Thomas Hardy said prayer is useless because there's no one to pray to except that dreaming dark dumb thing that turns the handle of this idol show. Voltaire described life as a bad joke. He added, bring down the curtain, the farce is done. Such is the blasphemy and despair of all who insist that God is uninvolved in human affairs. The Greek and Roman philosophers of Jesus' day rejected the fatherhood of God because it contradicted their philosophical systems. The Stoic philosophers taught that all of the gods were apathetic and experienced no emotions at all. The Epicurean philosophers taught that the supreme quality of the gods was complete calm or perfect peace. To maintain their serenity, they needed to remain totally isolated from the human condition. Um, scripture refutes all such heresies by declaring that God is an intimate, caring father. The significance of that truth is staggering. He conquers your fears and com comforts you in times of distress. He forgives your sins and gives you eternal hope. He showers you with limitless resources and makes you the recipient of an imperishable inheritance. He grants you wisdom and direction through his spirit and his word. He will never leave or forsake you. When you humbly approach God as your father, you assume the role of a child who's eager to obey his father's will and receive all the benefits of his grace. Let that take you beyond your present circumstances and motivate you to dwell on what's eternal. Dear friends, I thank you for taking a couple of moments every day to listen to these reflections and allowing me to be a small part of it by reading them to you. I've taken Pastor MacArthur's suggestions for prayer and for further study, and I've recorded them in the description portion for this video so that you can take a look at them, follow the suggestions, uh, spend the time extending your pondering of these truths that are presented each day. And until we can be together again to take a look at another deep truth prevented presented in a devotional way by Pastor MacArthur, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom.